Picture this. You are cruising down an Italian highway in your electric car. The Alps stretching out like a postcard to your left, a cappuccino perched precariously in a cup holder, and your battery, miraculously, gaining charge as you drive. No stops, no cables, just endless vino and scenery vibes, as if the road itself is whispering, relax, I got this. This isn't a Mario Kart power-up or a scene from a sci-fi movie. This is knowing is winning. And it is real, and it's happening right now in Italy, where highways are being transformed into giant wireless chargers and solar panels so efficient they could power a small nation are rolling off production lines. But here is the twist. While the world obsesses over Silicon Valley and Chinese tech giants, Italy and Poland are quietly solving two of humanity's biggest headaches. How to keep electric cars charged and how to power them without burning the planet to the crisp. Okay, okay, okay. My Italian friends, I got a lot of um, feedback after my coffee videos uh, from all my Italian friends. Uh, nobody writes comments anymore, but I got a direct and very honest um, emails and, um, and suggestions. I'm not saying that Italy is not doing anything inventive. I'm saying that what Italy does is not as well known anymore. So, here, let's come back to electric cars for a moment. Let's start with the elephant in the room. Range anxiety. You know the feeling. You're white knuckling the steering wheel, watching the battery percentage drop like a bad TikTok trend, desperately calculating whether you will make it to the next charging station before your car becomes a very expensive paperweight. And when you finally find a charger, it's either broken, occupied by someone who seems to be charging their entire household appliances, or worse still, powered by coal. It's like buying a salad and drowning it in a ranch dressing. Enter Italy, a country better known for espresso and renaissance art than cutting edge tech, uh, with a solution so elegant it's almost poetic. Highways that charge your car as you drive. In the quiet outskirts of Brescia, nestled between Milan and the Al Alpine foothills, lies the Arena del Futuro, a one-kilometer stretch of highway that looks like any other except for the fact that it's hiding a secret under its asphalt. Buried beneath the road are copper coils, part of the system called Dynamic Wireless Power Transfer, developed by an Israeli company called Electrion. These coils use magnetic induction to send electricity directly to a receiver on the underside of your car, juicing up your battery while you cruise. Imagine your phone charging pad, but scaled up to a two-ton SUV and capable of powering a bus for three days straight without a single plug-in. In fact, Stellantis, the automotive giant behind brands like Fiat and Jeep, tested this very system with an electric bus that drove continuously, finishing with more charge than it started with. The driver presumably spent those three days binge eating Casoncelli alla Bresciana, the local pasta specialty. But here is the kicker. Where does all that electricity come from? You can't just magic megawatts out of thin air, right? Enter Perovskite, the Taylor Swift of solar materials. Flexible, cheap, and so efficient, it could make silicon panels blush. Over in Poland, a PhD student named Olga Malenkiewicz was tinkering with perovskite in her lab and figured out how to print it using inkjet printers. Yes, inkjet printers. But what is perovskite? Perovskite is a calcium titanium oxide mineral with a distinctive crystal structure that has inspired the whole class of synthetic materials known as perovskite structure compounds. 
These materials are incredibly versatile and are being explored for applications in solar cells, superconductors, LEDs, and even quantum computing. One of the hottest applications of perovskites is in the solar cells. Perovskite solar cells are rapidly improving, reaching certified efficiency up to 26% for single junction devices, while perovskite silicon tandem cells have achieved efficiencies exceeding even 34%. They are cheaper and easier to manufacture, especially with companies scaling production capabilities and demonstrating integration of nanoparticles to enhance stability. In the meantime, uh, back in Poland, Olga hit some snags with her financial investors, but isn't it the perennial struggle, the idea man or woman against the money people who want to squeeze profit out of a prune if possible? Now, however, all of that made uh, everyone notice the physics department of Warsaw University, one of the quantum slash perovskite global centers where scientists break new barriers every day. But let's go worldwide to see what's happening out there with perovskite. Researchers and developers are exploring perovskite technology for applications far beyond traditional solar panels. Let's start with lighting. Perovskite LED lighting is rapidly emerging as a promising next generation technology due to the unique optoelectronic properties of perovskite materials. Unlike conventional LEDs, which often require complex and expensive manufacturing processes involving high temperature and vacuum conditions, perovskite LEDs can be fabricated using solution processing at relatively low temperatures, enabling potentially cheaper and more versatile production. This makes them suitable for large area, flexible, and even transparent lighting applications. One of the key advantages of um, PELEDs, as they're called, is their high color tunability. By adjusting the composition of perovskite material, researchers can precisely control the emitted light's wavelength, covering the entire visible spectrum from deep red to blue and even into the near infrared. This tunability is crucial for applications in vivid color displays and specialized lighting where specific color rendering is desired. Recent breakthroughs have addressed long-standing challenges related to efficiency and brightness, yet the results are very promising. In uh, South Korea, researchers are working on incorporating perovskite materials into smartphone screens, aiming to create displays that can recharge themselves with ambient light yes the, the technology is still under development it is truly mind-blowing that we could charge our phones just by having them lying around our homes then there is the ai revolution in perovskite design with ai driven materials discovery platforms including those developed accelerating the identification of novel perovskite compositions with improved stability and optoelectronic properties while research into the thermoelectric perovskites for waste heat recovery is ongoing and remains in the experimental stage, it looks very promising. Especially when you look at architecture. Architecture is also getting a shakeup with development of perovskite-based semi-transparent solar cells that are being created for integration into architectural glass, offering the potential to generate electricity while preserving aesthetics. There is a research being made for pilot projects to assess their suitability for heritage buildings like cathedrals, aiming to reduce lighting energy consumption without compromising design integrity. Of course, challenges remain. Scaling these innovations demands solving perovskite's Achilles heel. Longevity under real-world chaos. While solar panels now tout 25-year warranties, perovskite LEDs and water harvesters are still in their infancy. Yet with billions flowing into R&D from both governments and crypto billionaires, the pace is frantic. So the next time you sip a coffee under a perovskite lit cafe awning or charge your phone with a glowing window, remember, we are not just tweaking under solar panels anymore. Perovskites are becoming the Swiss or you know, Helvetic army knife of material science. 
versatile, unexpected and quietly rewriting the rules of energy, design and human ingenuity. Now, let's go back to Italy and Poland and connect the dots. Imagine Italy's wireless highways lined with perovskite solar panels. Each coil under the road fed by sunlight harvesting ribbons embedded in the asphalt. No fossil fuels, no charging stops. Just endless sun power joyrides through Tuscan vineyards or along the Amalfi coast. And because perovskite works indoors, your future office building might double as a power plant, its windows humming with invisible energy. The world is brimming with unsung innovations, but the Italy and Poland's combo of wireless charging and perovskite solar feels like a masterclass in solving multiple problems at once. But the perovskite solar technology is making remarkable strides in 2025 with several breakthroughs that are pushing efficiency, durability and manufacturability to new heights, promising to revolutionize the solar energy landscape. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, one of the most exciting developments um, is the integration of nanoparticles into perovskite cells, a technique pioneered by researchers at the University of Surrey in the UK. By embedding the tiny aluminum oxide nanoparticles within the perovskite layer, they have significantly improved the cell stability, allowing them to maintain high performance for over 1,530 hours under harsh conditions of heat and humidity, nearly 10 times longer than previous models. This advancement uh, addresses one of the biggest hurdles for perovskite solar cells, the rapid degradation due to moisture and chemical instability, which previously limited their practical use. So next time you're stuck at the charging station, sweating over your dwindling battery, remember, the future is already here. It's just unevenly distributed. These technologies aren't just about convenience, they're about reimagining infrastructure in a way that's as elegant as a Fellini film. Because why settle for incremental progress when you can have a revolution powered by pasta, pierogi and perovskite? The future isn't just coming, it's being paved quite literally under the wheels of an electric Fiat somewhere on a highway near Brescia. And with that optimistic accent, thank you very much for watching Knowing is Winning. Subscribe for more underdog tech stories that don't involve billionaires sending their girlfriends into outer space. Thank you very much.